It affects over 2% of the Australian population and is the second most common form of arthritis, yet its cause is relatively unknown. Good evening and welcome to tonight's segment of Drugs Review. I'm your host Anne. Join me as we take a closer look at the changing face of rheumatoid arthritis drug treatments. Rheumatoid arthritis is a systemic inflammatory disease where the body's immune system reacts to itself and causes inflammation in the joints and surrounding structures. Tonight we follow the story of Jean who was recently diagnosed with RA as she navigates the treatment options available to her today. I've been really tired and flu-y for a few months and noticed that my joints were uh, swollen and really sore and especially very stiff in the morning. Um, I decided to go to the doctor's. Um, being so young, I knew that it was normal to get out of bed. It would take me half an hour to get out of bed. Um, the doctor ran a few blood tests and found that my rheumatoid factor and ESI level were very high. So he referred me to a rheumatologist straight away. Um, I have been taking methotrexate for six months now and a lot of the stiffness and the pain are still present. We sent Jane to Dr. Smith, one of Sydney's leading rheumatologists, to see what other treatment options were available to her. Methotrexate, the drug you've been taking for a while, is known as a conventional disease-modifying antirheumatic drug, or conventional DMA. And it's the go-to first choice drug for rheumatoid arthritis. Its effectiveness, however, differs from patient to patient, and with you, as we can see, it's obviously been very ineffective. In the past two decades, the use of biologic DMARDs for the treatment of RA has been heavily studied, and it's likely that I'll prescribe you one of these. The three main types of biologic DMARDs are TNF inhibitors, B cell depleters, and T cell modulators. So TNF stands for tumor necrosis factor alpha. It's a chemical known as an inflammatory cytokine produced by the body. At normal levels, TNF is responsible for maintaining the body's defense against infection. However, at high concentrations, TNF causes excessive inflammation and tissue injury. Research has discovered that RA sufferers like yourself have an overproduction of TNF. Metanacept is a TNF receptor blocker. It binds to free floating and cell bound TNF and blocks its action at TNF receptors, meaning immune reactions such as inflammation do not occur. Infliximab and Adulmimab are monoclonal antibodies that bind to TNF alpha, activating complement mediated cell lysis. Basically, once these drugs bind to TNF alpha, the body recognizes the molecule as a foreign body and attacks the cell, causing its destruction. Next are the T cell modulators. T cells are specialized white blood cells. Their membrane receptors recognize antigens and receive secondary co stimulation messages from antigen presenting cells. This activates the inflammation response. In rheumatoid arthritis cases, the antigen presented are the body's own joints. Currently, Abatacept is the only T cell modulator drug on the market. It acts by blocking the interaction of co stimulatory antigens CD80 and CD86 with the co stimulatory receptor CD28. This blocks the second message and hence T cell activation, reducing the associated inflammation. Finally, are the B cell depleters. B cells are lymphocytes that produce the antibody immunoglobulin M, which is another mediator of the immune response process. Rheumatoid arthritis patients contain higher levels of B cells. Anti CD20 therapy in the form of rituximab is the most common B cell therapy for RA. Rituximab is an antibody that specifically removes B cells by binding to the antigen CD20 on the B cell surface. This inhibits the activity of B cell survival factors and decreases rheumatoid factor levels. So, do these drugs have any side effects? Adverse effects with these drugs are rare but can be very serious. The effects I think that you need to be aware of most, I would say, are injection site and infusion reactions like rashes and respiratory infections such as bronchitis. So will I stop taking methotrexate and start with these drugs? Uh, good question. I'm actually going to continue your prescription of methotrexate and add in a biologic. The biologics can be taken on their own or with a conventional like methotrexate. But recent clinical studies have shown that biologics actually work more effectively when taken in combination with a conventional drug, with no added risk to the patient. So will these biologics cure my arthritis? There still isn't a cure for arthritis, but by taking this combination therapy, your physical function and quality of life will greatly improve, and your joint pain and swelling will decrease significantly. What happens now? You're currently here. I'll start you on a TNF inhibitor. If there are no improvements after six months, we move on to a T-cell modulator. If that doesn't work, after six months, we'll try a B-cell depleter. If that doesn't work either, we'll keep doing this until we settle on a treatment option that is right for you. Information has been very helpful. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. That is all we have time for tonight. For more information, refer to the website on your screen. Good night.